Welcome back here on my channel. Thanks for joining me for another unboxing video here in my basement based diecast room in Bavaria in Germany. So uh, once again we got a wild mix of uh, different cars and different brands. So as you can see we got stuff from Majorette, Matchbox, Mini GT and also some uh, bigger scale models from Wally Nex and Right underneath here is also one Hot Wheels main line car. You'll find the list of all of this stuff in the description down below. So I would say let's get right into it and let's start with this one here. And bring that camera down a little as you can see. Volkswagen Golf Mark 1. So this is a pretty new series from uh, Major Red, as far as I know. And here are all the six vehicles in this set. Um, I think at my local toy store they had all of them. But as you can see, um, yeah, there's a lot of um, Volkswagen buses. Mm, I'm not a huge fan of these and also not... Um, not a huge fan of the Beetle, so um, the only one I got is this guy here, the Golf Mark 1 in Bilstein Deco. So uh, yeah, let's open this one up. Sometimes they do come with this uh, little card. You can see the specs. Yeah. Let's put this to the side. As you can see, this one has opening parts or one opening part. You can open the hood, stays open. Well, if you turn around the car, it also opens, which is not too good, but it closes really nice, sits perfectly. Look at the front, we got lensed headlights. GTI lettering and the Volkswagen logo. Deco on the side. And we got some tail lights. And normally those major red cars do have a suspension. And so does this one. Yeah, nice. Normally they do have a really good quality. Uh, well, that is not so cool, but um, anyways, or maybe the wheels could be um, could look better. These are plastic wheels, um, by the way. But um, yeah, from time to time, I buy those major cars because they do have a real good uh, quality. Sometimes, you know, I don't like the livery on them. Often, it's a little bit too uh, crazy for me. Also. Yeah, the rest of the set that I showed you, these buses and that stuff, not my cup of tea. So let's put this one into the parking lot and um, yeah, let's go on with the other major red car, which is this Porsche 911 Carrera S in a nice green color, a convertible. And as you can see right up here, this is yeah, like the like the um, yeah, like a premium car from uh, Majorette. It, this one has also um, rubber tires. So here you can see the whole set. So as you can see, this one comes with a little uh, cardboard box and uh, yeah, here are the specs of the car. I would say this is pretty useless. Anyway, um, let's take a look at the car. As you can see, hood does 
open and ah, that is not so cool. It doesn't close properly. Um, yeah, well, um, I have to say this is a problem in my opinion. Sometimes when um, these cars are on display in their packaging with, with this um, opening part opened all the time, you know, it's the same thing uh, often with uh, Matchbox moving parts. If the door stays open for a long time and it's, um, yeah, in the packaging, sometimes, unfortunately, the parts, when you take them out of the packaging, don't close properly. So this is not so good. I mean, I do really like the color. What I don't like are the, these gray rims. Often a problem, in my opinion, with a major red. Um, they should have cooler wheels, but um, yeah, that's the way it is. So this one also has a plastic base, but it has uh, rubber tires and also does have suspension. It's close to roof. Yeah. So um, all in all, um, a nice model lens headlights for sure. Maybe I can fix this and um, I will get this hood to close properly. Now it seems to work. So it's kind of okay. And we put the Porsche also into the parking lot. So let's go on with Matchbox moving parts. The 2016 Ram Ambulance. Always in this uh, strange uh, packaging. So now, maybe you think you've seen this one uh, this year before, but maybe you mean this guy here. This was in the uh, in a mainline single pack, if I remember it correctly. And um, so here we do have a plastic body and a metal base. This is the uh, International Ambulance, by the way. But here. We have a plastic base and a metal body, which is kind of cool. And this thing is pretty, um, pretty heavy. It comes with these opening doors here and take a look inside. So we see a lot of details in there. Everything in chrome. Really nice chrome front and the grill and the doors stay closed so this is really really cool a nice uh, model from the moving part series as i mentioned before sometimes um, yeah they do have uh, troubles with the parts closing properly or sometimes they have problems with uh, getting the colors right you know um, if they have an opening part that is made of plastic, they um, sometimes are not able to um, get the right color of the opening part matching to the rest of the body. Anyways, um, this is um, another Matchbox car, a Mazda CX-5 mainline car. I think we've seen this one before in red and black. I'm not 100% sure. So we have, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm not really sure about this uh, blue. I think on camera it looks kind of okay, but in reality, yeah, I'm not so sure. A strange blue in my opinion. We have a chrome five spokes and this one, uh, I hope you can see it, has an interior. This one is dark tinted windows. Nice details on the front, Mazda license plate, nice grill and headlights. Also, same on the back. Really nice, let's go on with 
this guy here, 1965 Ford C900 in shell deco. So this is a type of car I'm honest. I don't know anything about, but if you're following my channel, I do like yeah, nearly any kind of liveries. And this one is in shell, really nice. You got the Ford lettering on the front. Yeah. So only that cab for sure is made out of metal. The rest here is plastic. Nice. Then we got this one here. Tesla Model X. So this one comes in a blue metallic livery with a lot of metal flakes in it. So this is really yeah, glittering the car. Nice details on the back, a license plate that says zero emission. Also nice details on the front. Got this huge glass roof or sunroof, as you can see. Got seven seats in it. Yeah, this one is a pretty, pretty nice matchbox model. I have to say that this year is, I think, um, a really, really good year for matchbox. Really cool cars this year. Then we have this um, Hot Wheels, uh, yeah, fantasy casting five alarm. Normally nothing I would buy, but um, <laughs> I have to say I, I really like the colors of this one. So as you can guess, the body is um, plastic and we have a metal base. As you can see, this is in casting came out in 2008. Is this removable here? Oh yeah. So. Nice, let's put this to the side. So now um, let's go on with these, um, uh, these Welly Nex uh, models. So um, yeah, you know, this channel is about 164 scale and this is, um, the cars don't really say it normally. I guess it's 143rd scale. Um, yeah, why do I buy these? Um, they um, cost three euros at a store called Action, and um, so uh, by the way, these are pullback cars. Um, and I think for three euros, um, this is this is um, a very fair price. So let's get this one out. So here we have the Land Rover Defender in a very nice silver color. So these don't have suspension, but as I said, or as I mentioned, they are pullback cars. Comes with a spare tire and opening doors. And I have to say for three euros, in my opinion, this is really good. Yeah, I don't know, what do you think? I mean, um, write it in the comments down below, but I think with three euros, this is um, a lot of die cast. Then, um, I mean, I won't start a, a huge collection of these um, type of cars, but sometimes when they are restocking, um, yeah, you know, if you are collecting die-cast cars, sometimes it's hard to resist. So we got the, um, this is the Toyota Supra. 
Also lens taillights, lens headlights, opening the doors. And um, yeah, they also do close really nice. And if you take a look at the gaps, I would say this is okay. Also for the price. I think also the wheels do look very good for three euros. Plastic base for sure. And they do have rubber tires, otherwise it would be difficult for a pullback car. And here we have one of the coolest Porsches ever, 918 Spider. Oh, and look at this, I didn't uh, see this when I bought it. They also have some uh, details, some green lines in the interior, which is kind of cool. Also lens taillights. And I would also say these wheels are kind of accurate. This is the front. Doors. So, yeah. Well. Yeah, what do you think? I think it's um these are really good for three euros. So let's put this Porsche in the background. And let's finish this video with two Mini GTs. The number 376 Toyota S2000 Type S. In Apex Blue. You know, I'm a huge fan of Mini GT. Because normally these cars do have a very good quality. And they come in this nice cardboard box with this plastic piece. So here we are. Let's put this back. You can always store the car back in this um, box, which is kind of cool. So this is a really nice blue color in my opinion. Um, yeah, what is this gunmetal gray or gray five spokes? Not really shining chrome. Nice headlights, Honda license plate, also lensed taillights, the Honda badge, pretty wing. Painted exhaust tips and take a close look. We also got a little antenna. And as always, these mini GTs come with a metal body, metal base and rubber tires. And normally they do roll. Let's check this out. Uh, yeah, and sometimes they don't. Well, it rolls. Ah, it does roll a little. I think it's... Okay, and let's finish this video with this guy here, Porsche 911 Turbo S in GT Silver Metallic, number This also look very good. Let's take a look at the back. So um, it's hard to read, but it says 911 Turbo S underneath this uh, Porsche lettering. Got 
this nice little wing. Lensed headlights, but take a look at the right headlight. Yeah, I think there's a little gap or something. I'm not 100% sure. Doesn't look perfect. The rubberized mirrors, as always. Yeah, also nice. Let's see if this one rolls. Yes. Better than the Honda. So, that's it for today's video. If you did like it, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. And I say thank you for watching. Happy hunting. See you next time. Bye.